What's up everyone? Welcome to this week's video. If you're new here, my name is Jess and I make videos and written blog post content about sneakers, lifestyle products, and designer and collectible toys. So if you like that kind of stuff, then please consider hitting that subscribe button and also making sure you hit the bell icon so that you can be notified every single time I post a new video. Just a reminder that I am doing a giveaway from my previous video. If you are rocking any type of Crocs, I have some pretty cool and unique charms that you can add to your collection. So let's talk about these shoes right here. These may be the most slept on shoes of 2021. So let's talk about it. Let's first talk about the history of the shoe. I will have a lot more detail in my blog post, which is always linked down below. But in short, Bill Bowerman, who was the co-founder of Nike, created this waffle tread pattern in the early 1970s. He was a track and field coach and wanted to figure out how to create a better shoe for the athletes. And he basically took the waffle iron from the kitchen and put some type of plastic in it to create a shoe mold. And this tread was born and that's kind of where it came from. Let's quickly have a look at the box. The box is nothing really fancy. It's just that classic Nike box, the orange, orangey red uh, color with the Nike word and symbol. And let me show you the tag. The official colorway for the shoe that I have right now is Summit White and Infinite Lilac. It's a, this is the women's version. This retailed for $135 Canadian and in the US it's about $100 US. So this is the tag here. I think if you scan this code right here, it will take you to the Nike app and you can see if it's available in your region. At first hand, you can see that the inspiration comes a lot from the Sakai's and the uh, Daybreaks. And I think it's pretty similar for sure. There are some similarities and some inspirations on that and it's pretty cool. The stitching is kind of similar and you know, there's nothing wrong with it. I think it's a really good shoe overall. Uh, these released, I think on May 26th of 2021, but I could be totally wrong. Uh, the uh, White Summit colorway, which I think a lot of people really liked, uh, was the color that released, which I will put on screen right now. And you can have a look at that. And I think overall, it's a pretty good shoe. The sizing on the shoe is a little interesting. I did go true to size eight and a half women's on this and they seem to be a little bit big for me. But some of my friends have been telling me that they actually went a half a size up because they seem a little narrow for them. I would typically recommend true to size just to see how it fits. So maybe you may wanna consider even going to the store and just trying them on. If you don't want to go through the hassle of returning and exchanging and doing all that type of stuff. Let's talk about the materials on the shoe. The material on the shoe is basically uh, a leather for the Nike swoosh here, a lot of suede and this transparent mesh, which is my favorite part of the entire shoe. I actually was able to get a clip of me swapping out my socks, as you can see right here. I did like a white pair of socks, a black pair of socks, and some tie-dye socks, which I think worked really cool. And I think that's really awesome that you can kind of customize the style a bit with this really neutral look, but have uh, some customization options when you wear your socks. Cause there's a lot of different colorways and you can kind of get creative with it, which I really enjoy. The other thing I want to mention is there seems to be a lot of branding on the shoe, but you probably can't really tell just from looking at it like this. But I think there's about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight swooshes on the shoe. And you can't really tell because they're kind of hidden, but there's obviously the two big ones on the inside and the outside. There's one on the heel here with that hint of green. I think it's called green glow. There's another one up here. And then on the inside, you can see there's one there. And then on the insole as well. We'll also notice that you can see established 1972, Beaverton, Oregon, Nike Sportwear, and Waffle One. So that is on the shoe 
twice and then the year on uh, this accent right there with the Nike symbol. So tons of branding on this, but which I didn't realize until I was like looking at the shoe and reviewing it for this video. You would never be able to tell. I think Nike did it in a pretty subtle way, which is pretty interesting. So I wore this today, running some errands, went out to lunch and I thought they were pretty comfortable. I like, uh, you know, the little waffle pattern on the bottom. It was really hugging the pavement that I was walking on, which is pretty awesome. And they're not like super comfortable, like Reacts, for example, but they're also not uncomfortable for me. Like I find that the Air Max 97s are really uncomfortable for me, really stiff. And, you know, I think this is a good middle ground. It's just a good shoe just to be walking around in, doing errands and things like that. I probably wouldn't work out in these. I don't think they're that comfortable, but I think overall it's just a good casual lifestyle shoe that you can just throw on and go about your day. So overall, do I think you should buy these? And the short answer is yes. I think these are a really good shoe that you can just kind of throw on. It's super clean, really simple, very neutral. There's a lot of different colorways out there. There is one that I do want to purchase which I will put a picture right here. And I think they're really cool for the uh, summer. And just a really light, airy shoe where you can customize with um, some pretty cool socks in there. That's gonna do it for the Nike Waffle ones. I really like this shoe. Let me know in the comments what you think. I love that this is so accessible and it's not limited. The price tag is right. And you know, you can even go to the Nike website right now and customize your own pair with your own colors, which I thought was really awesome. So head over to their website if you're interested in that. And let's go over to the on foot action and I will catch you in the next video. Peace. Bye. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out today's video. Please consider subscribing to see more content just like this. There is always more to see on my blog at www.writtenbyjust.com. Thank you for all your support and we'll catch you in the next one.